Hey there folks, um, I have some awesomeness in this box right here, I just got it today. Um, I didn't open it yet, I wanted to open it in front of you guys, so uh, you can, uh, you know, I want it to be uh, real, my reaction to it. So, if you look at the address it came from, I hope this is focusing because my eyes are shot, Triple Luck Design, right? So, as you know, they've been holding uh, lotteries uh, this week and last week uh, instead of the typical Fridays that they do. If you guys haven't signed up for Triple Lot, you should definitely do that. Um, typically, they do these uh, drawings uh, on Fridays, but for whatever reason, they felt generous and and they, um, they were doing it for pretty much every day this past two weeks. Uh, they didn't do one this Monday, but... Uh, they did one today. Uh, and one thing, if you guys are going to do it, uh, don't sign up for the drawing if if, you're, if you don't plan on getting the knife. Because it's a real pain in the butt. And, and if they pick your name and then you don't want to buy, you know, the knife that, that, that you entered the drawing for, I think they pretty much just save the knife for another drawing. Because, you know, they already pick the, 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 the people through random.org and there's no other way to do it unless they do another drawing. So, um, it's, you know, it's a good chance for you guys to get knives, and uh, it's pretty cool. Some of the stuff they get. Uh, so, uh, previously I got the, um, the Strider SMF uh, from, uh, from Triple Lot. Uh, I did the video on that, so this is the next one. Uh, and, and, and they're pretty cool over there. So, let's get to it. See the triple lot logo right there. Let's see, let's open this bad boy up. I want to be careful because I don't want to damage the goods in there. I wasn't gonna do the, the unboxing on camera, but you know what? I wanna I wanna see how cool this is. Let's get the paperwork out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. So this is triple lot signature box, my strider. SMF came in the same box, you know, which is pretty cool because, uh, of course, someone has to call me right now. Hang on a second. I'm doing a video. Let me call you later. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, can't, can't, can't stop this excitement, you know. I can't pause for her. So, uh, here's the card. Read that. Awesome. Awesomeness. My first birch tree. Is that too presumptuous that I'm saying it's my first birch tree? Like I'm going to get another birch tree? Probably not, right? That's probably it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Number seven of ten. And it's signed by uh, Mike Birch. That's pretty cool. Seven of ten. They couldn't send me number one of ten. So... I entered this drawing. They only had 10 of these uh, Birch Tree Flippers. Uh, if you guys, you know, signed up for it. Um, yeah, it's like, it was like about 900 people entered. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not Irish, but I definitely had the luck of the Irish that day, you know? <laughs> so, all right, I know. Talking too much. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Holy Christmas, look at this. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> but, uh, ah, it's, dude, oh my goodness, this has got some crazy weight to it. You know, it's supposed to be 7.2 ounces, and, uh, just take a look at this. You know, I, I held a uh, birch tree at uh, Jeff's house. He had one that he was pimping. If you've seen Jeff's video, uh, he did a scale for this customer. It had that stingray skin on it, so, uh, he changed it. Um, so, this is on uh, titanium. Let's do a little specs on it. Um, it's a titanium frame, and it's got this G10 overlay on it. Uh, yeah. The clip is also titanium, I believe. Yeah. It's, uh, also titanium. The titanium that uh, Mike used is, a uh, 6AL 4V titanium. You can see it's like uh, the, the titanium runs all the way across. See that? 
It's got a G10 backspacer and this G10 right here with uh, custom tad lines. I like how simple the construction is. There's just uh, three Torx screws there with steel. Uh, so it's tip up carry. It's not reversible, the clip. It's got this titanium bolster, which is, I believe, this is stone wash. Yep, stone wash. This is the flipper edition. It's also IKBS. Goodness gracious, look at that centering. This thing's perfect. Look how thick that titanium is. Good jimping. Yeah. yeah. Should we try to flip it? Alright, this is the first time I'm flipping this bad boy. It's high KBS, so I don't know what the action is. Oh, wow, first time. That is awesome. I gotta do it again. Well, first I'll show you the lockup. Lockup is very early. You see that? Very early. I know what, let's do it before I flip it again. Use the blade. Uh, the blade steel is uh, 1095 carbon steel. So, in the instructions that you know, I read up online that uh, you should really keep it well oiled because uh, because it's carbon steel, it's prone to rust. So I really got to maintain this bad boy. I like the blood groove, which also acts as a a a, a thumb. What do you what you call it? Thumb uh, deployment. Is that what you call it? Right. So, there's a, there's a Harley guy passing by my place. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here's uh, Michael Birch's uh, logo. Here's the Triple Lot logo. Very cool. Uh, what you're looking at on the blade is the hamon. Right. So, Michael Birch pretty much creates all his, makes all his blades, and uh, he hardens the blades. It's called differentially hardened, and it's um, this is how the hamon is created. Uh, hamon is a Japanese word. Uh, what does it mean? Blade pattern. So basically, he puts clay above here, right? After it's uh, heat treated, he puts clay here. By putting the clay here on the top part, it basically slows down the cooling of the blade and he leaves this part exposed, which means this cools faster. So by cooling faster, this becomes harder and this becomes uh it retains it cools slower so it, it maintains its resilience so what does that give for you it basically um makes the cutting edge sharper and harder and this one's um how you say it? it's like um it basically uh helps uh you know this is called the immune and it, it retains its resilience right i had to do some research on it um, so what you get is a good cutting edge and like a softer back spine, you know. So I don't know if you're gonna bang it in the back or something. So uh, the edge being harder, it's a little more brittle, and this is a little tougher, right? A little more resilience. So uh, let's see. A few knife makers out there make fake hamons. They, they basically uh, the latest fad now is acid etching. So when they acid etch, they get these fake hamons. Uh, Michael Birch, this is not a fake hamon. This is uh, this is the process that he he basically makes the blade tougher and harder and sharper and stronger and and each hamon is actually unique to the blade. They're not. It's not a set pattern. It's just something that happens as he basically uh, I guess bakes the clay in, in his oven. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, that was that clear, or if you if you know better than me, which you probably do, because what do I know? I love this. I love this uh, this blood groove. I don't even know if he calls it a blood groove, but it's, um, I'm sure guys like um, 
who's that knife maker that makes those? Uh, I can't even think of it. Makes these big knives that uh, that uh, oh goodness, I can't think of his name right now. But um, yeah. So again, I got I got like medium sized hands, so gives you an idea how big this knife is. Uh, you know what? I shoulda I shoulda brought out a couple of knives. Let me see. Let me see if I can bring some knives out to measure up against it. I don't want to make it too long, my video, but here's my ZT550. Uh, so it's a little bit smaller than the ZT550. Here's a comparison. Let's do it this way. Okay, so it gives you an idea. Um, it definitely weighs more than the ZT550. But uh, move my notes here. <laughs> No, I just gotta flip it one more time. I just can't help myself. Just gonna flip. So you saw I did right. So I push button it. Oh, it really is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this thing just flies out. I didn't think it was gonna be that smooth. You know. So I'm doing the push button type. Um, I like the way the flipper is designed too. It's very smooth. No jimping on it, so it doesn't hurt my finger. If you guys are like me with your flippers, you know, you're constantly flipping your knives. Um, so you could also do it light, light switch, right? Either way you do it, it's friggin' smooth. Oh my goodness, that thing just flies out. That is beautiful. Let's take a look at this blade. Yeah, so uh, I was all excited when they posted this on Facebook, right? Actually, you know, people were leaving comments on on Facebook when the the day before when they were giving a hint. I think when they gave the hint, they basically showed this part. And you know, a few knife nuts out there identified it as a birch tree already. Uh, when I left the comment, I pretty much basically said, it "Looks a lot like my birch. <laughs> looks a lot like my birch tree until you know, till tomorrow." But uh, who knew? I guess I'm a little clairvoyant. I was able to predict it. Predict it. Oh. I don't know if you can see it. They said that... Uh, I don't know where the serial number would be. I think they said the serial number is behind the backspacer. Which, it's not much of a serial number. It's 7. Right? So it's 7 of 10. Awesome. Just taking it all in right now. It's so beautiful. Look how thick that spine is. That's crazy. Titanium's a good size, good thickness. Good thickness. Like the pocket clip. Uh, all the knife makers say, make similar pocket clips. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look how simple the design is. It's a freaking barrage. So sight. Oh, first impressions, folks. Uh, first impressions, pretty awesome. I emailed Mike Birch, uh, you know, hoping to get on the list. Uh, well, again, you guys know, you knife nuts out there know that Mike Birch opens up his books and he shuts them down. Uh, he only takes a few orders at a time, and then you could be waiting years for your Birch, your Birch tree. So I really got lucky. Thank you, Triple Lot. Awesome. Um, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I didn't think I'd get a Birch tree yeah, from Triple Lot. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Super, super psyched. The guy showed us to Menevade. He loves the birch trees. Okay. Okay, folks. Peace.